Ira Epstein with your morning flash update on a very active day of U.S. economic data, data out of Russia, data out of China, a lot of things moving the market. On this Tuesday morning, August 15th, 2023, time right now about 8.25 a.m. Central Time. Well, China surprised the market, and what they did is they cut interest rates by 15 basis points. That came out of nowhere. I didn't see anyone that was expecting that. But I told you things were going to happen there because they're in such trouble. They're no longer going to report on youth unemployment. The last numbers we had in June were up 21%. In other words, China plays the old game. When anything is really bad, why should we report on it? That's the thinking. We'll say that it doesn't fit in with our methodology. There's a better way to do this, and they'll come up with that. The simple fact is there's nothing but problems going on there. And uh, I discuss this and give a lot of numbers on China in the morning update. Russia surprised the market. Well, not surprised. Yesterday, they declared an emergency meeting for today, and they went up 350. That's 3.5% on interest rates as they try to shore up the falling ruble and they try to get some uh, footing under their economy, this will be a temporary measure. You'll go back and challenge the lows you just made near that 102 area, but you did go from the 102 back to 98 rubles to the dollar, and that's because of this activity. So what? It doesn't change anything. As we look at the stock indices, they're down. It's a big earnings day today. We already had Home Depot. We're going to get a series of others coming out. The forward guidance on Home Depot, not that good. And the stock, while it beat on the earnings and so on, uh, it was down in the pre-market. When we take a look at what's going on here in the metal markets, all down. Look, you just hit 365. You're almost 38 cents lower in the copper from just a week ago. Wow. When you take a look at what's going on in the currencies, most are rallying against the U.S. dollar. In the grain markets, we had another good series and are still getting good series of rains throughout the Midwest. This helps the crops. We're going to have a nice crop from the looks of things, at least. Bonds and notes continue to add to the interest rates. That's important. We're down in the, bond, in the uh, WTI and the Brent. Why? Well, if China's weakening, and they are by a lot, what happens is they won't need as much crude oil. Just think of the output they're going to do. They have a deflation problem going on there. They have a property problem going on. They have an employment problem going on. And they have a government problem going on. Uh, now they're attacking their health care. They're claiming it's corrupt. They're going to weed out the corruptness there. Everything's corrupt, right? Um, when we take a look at today's economic data, I want to get to this before we come over here. Let me get to this right there. There we are. The New York Empire Manufacturing, come on, they expected it down one point, down 19. So you are just in a big problem still in manufacturing. The employment index down, look at how much the new orders index from a prior 3.3 to negative 19.9. So this tells me that the consumer isn't buying the goods that are needed right now. All these numbers are absolute terrible. Retail sales, though, came out in the U.S. up seven-tenths and ex-autos up one. So it's confusing that we must be buying inventory because we're not manufacturing. Import-export prices. We imported four-tenths. We expected that's double, by the way, of two-tenths. We exported up seven-tenths. The prior month was uh, negative nine-tenths. We expected only up two-tenths. So we're importing and exporting inflation, if you will. Petroleum prices, though, 3.5% increase. A lot of the import, that has to do with that, obviously. We then take a look at Red Book retail sales, and they were up a half a percent in the first two weeks of August versus last year time, and up 7 tenths uh, versus the year ago. National Association of Home Builders are going to come out this morning with their monthly index, June business inventories. And as I said, China and Russia, big time problems going on in both economies, trying to figure out what do they do. And that's important because, well, we're not going to get China exporting inflation to us, I can tell you that. If anything, it'll be deflationary pressures. But if you need to get an understanding of all this, which many of you do, you know, one of the ways is you get a broker. And it's the old-fashioned way. And you think people don't do that? You'd be very wrong. It's thriving. 
And what happens is people will talk to brokers, get their trade ideas, what should they do. It could even be for self-directed accounts. You need help, what are you gonna get? What do you do? Hey, I need some more of this or that. That's what we do. So we work with you. Our brokers work with you both in helping you trade as well as helping you work on your self-directed account. It's both ways. To find out more, to talk to them, just give them a call at 866-973-2077. Say, hey, I'd like to find out more about your brokerage program. They'll fill you in. I'm I. Rapstein. You have yourself a good morning. I'll see you at the end of the day with our market wrap-ups.